Hey everybody, it's Brett and today I'm super excited to go over this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon two-door. It's in the all-new color for 2024, which is Anvil Clear Coat. The paint coat is PDS and this color replaced Sting Gray for 2024 on the Wrangler lineup. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this, the Anvil color, if you want Sting Gray to come back. Um, I'm sure everybody's curious. I'm sure Jeep's curious. I'm not really sure why they took the most popular color, in my opinion, on the Wranglers away, um, but who knows? I do like Anvil Clear Coat, though. I think this is a really good looking color and it looks really great on the Wrangler. I believe it's been on it before, but for 2024, it is the new additional color. So a lot of things to go over on this 2024 because it is a mid-model refresh. So they've changed a couple things on here, including packages and what comes standard on the vehicles. The first thing I wanna point out is the 2024 now comes standard with the LED lights. If you get a Rubicon, a Rubicon X, a 392, or a Sahara, all of them are gonna come standard with the LED headlamps and running lights and fog lights. The Sport S package, you can get the headlight and fog light LED light group. Uh, that is an additional charge and you cannot get the LED lights on just a Sport package um, for 2024, but I applaud Jeep for going all LEDs on the upper trim level packages, which they should have done when the JL came out, in my opinion. Anyways, the grill has been squished down. It's actually an optical illusion because if you look right here, it, the grill is still as big as it always was, just the painted part is now skinnier, uh, and they've also made these grill pieces thinner as well. This one does have the front trail cam, and what I'm going to do at the end of this video is turn on all these LED lights so you can see just how bright they are. I think the 2024 is a smart buy over the 2023 because of the LED light group being included, and there's also a new interior safety feature which is included um, on every Wrangler, which is a big add-on, which I'll get to in just a second. Painted and polished aluminum wheels are uh, new for 2024. They've all been redesigned. You also get different center caps. Uh, they still come with the BF Goodrich All-Terrain TAKO2 tires. These are LT285 70R17s, obviously a good all-terrain pattern to them. This one has the black fenders and hard top. No color match on this particular one. This one does have the 3.6 liter Pentastar with the V6, uh, 285 horsepower, 260 foot-pounds of torque. There are the sandals, the Jeep climbing up the side. And uh, this one gets 20 miles per gallon on the highway, 16 city for an average of 18 miles per gallon. New for 2024, no more antenna. It's been replaced with a trail rated badge. No, that does not get radio signals. They have put the antenna up in the windshield. Also standard on all the trim levels is the Corning Gorilla Glass and all the antennas are in the windows except the Sport Package which gets the old uh, leftover windshields from the 2023. You get the rock rails with the Rubicon Package, you get the T50 on the door hinges letting you know that you need the Torx 50 bit to get those doors off. We did a demo on how to take your doors off your JL. That's in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked in the description below if you want to check that out. Uh, go definitely check that out. Here's the original window sticker. I'm not going to go through everything, uh, just some of the major points on this one. Feel free to pause this to make sure this one's got all the options that you're looking for, and you can fast forward this through this if you want. It's, my opinion, a little bit boring, but people seem to like it. Two-door Rubicon, anvil clear coat, black interior. Black interior. That is charcoal. That is gray Jeep. That is black. That is gray, gray, black, charcoal, black, just saying. Uh, the one thing with the 2024 Rubicon now comes with the Dana M220 wide full floating rear axle instead of the partial floating, um, which gives you a bigger towing capacity on the four doors. You can have up to 5,000 pounds if you have the 410 gears. Uh, found that on Motor Trend's website because Jeep's very vague about which ones come with the um, 
5,000 pound towing package, but they told Motor Trend, so I found that article. I'll try and link that in the description below. Anyways, uh, interior features, the Uconnect 5 is now the standard radio across all the trim levels. Anvo clear coat is 595, optional equipment, PDS is the paint coat once again. Uh, my opinion, the convenience group is a great value, heated seats, heated steering wheel, and remote start. The technology group is a $2295 option gives you the alpine premium sound system which is better than the factory one hd radio the gps navigation connected trail and traffic services the uconnect nav with the 12.3 so they're all the same radios just some have nav and some don't and you have to get this technology group to get that nav in the rubicon integrated voice and integrated off-road camera so you get that front camera part of that technology group Eight speed auto is 4,500 bucks, gives you the adaptive cruise control, which is a nice safety feature. And the black three piece hard top is 1495. And uh, the 17 inch special wheels are 1095 bucks. Total MSRP on this one is 58,165. If you want to get your summer price in the upper right hand part of the screen, is a link to our website. Also linked in the description below is a link to our website to get all the pricing and option or pricing and rebates and discounts on this particular Jeep and availability. Three or 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain. There's your miles per gallon, fuel economy and greenhouse gas rating and smog rating, as well as your safety ratings. So we'll get back to the interior in just a second. You do get the LED tail lamp standard. This one does have the towing package, receiver hitch, four pin, seven pin wiring. You get the red shocks on the Rubicon as well as the red tow hook, LED license plate light, the matching spare tire and wheel. Backup camera, which is HD. The back seats are removable on here. Also with the Alpine sound system, you get that factory subwoofer in the floor. You also get a spot for your door hinge, windshield, and roof bolts. To get this seat down, you just kind of grab that handle, push it down like so, it'll go up. You can take these seats out. We actually did a demo on how to take your, I did a demo on how to take your seats out. If you want to check that out, that's linked in the description below and in the upper right hand part of the screen. Four bolts on each side, two quick disconnects to get that hard top off. Once again, we did a demo on how to take that off and that's in the description and linked in the upper right hand part of the screen too. Seven slots on that back tailgate, JL badge with the two door, four door wheelbase and overall length as well as water fording on there uh, where it's built and where it was developed in. Those gates shut nice and smoothly. Get the black fuel door on there. Really like the Ando color. It's gray, but it's, it's almost a blue. It's got a little bit of blue hue to it. Heated mirrors, the enter and go system, just to have to have the key fob in your pocket. And uh, once again, here is your black interior. I call them charcoal cloth interior. No rips or tears, obviously, it's brand new. Sorry, I do a lot of used vehicles. Uh, Rubicon stitched into the backrest and the seats are stitched as well. Driver's seat, height adjuster, lumbar. You get these side seat airbags, but like I was saying, for 2024, there is a major safety upgrade on the interior and that is the side curtain airbags are standard now. So they've added that for 2024. So if you're looking at a 2023, that's not gonna have those side curtain airbags this one will uh, major safety feature and with including the led headlamps if you're 2023 you're looking at doesn't have leds you may want to opt for the 2024. this little badge right there is new with the wrangler and gladiator back-to-back -back auto headlamps power locks power mirrors also new for 2024 is this different material on the dash it's kind of like a rubber rubberized material. Uh, they might even call it Gore-Tex. Anyways, that's new. I'm not sure if I like that or not yet. They used to be painted. I didn't really like the all red dashes on the Rubicons. So this looks a little bit better. Um, anyways, top and side, take a look at the interior here, the instrument cluster and the 12.3 inch radio. You get the Rubicon animation. I like that it, they've made that gloss black. So the radio kind of just blends right in with the instrument cluster almost seamlessly and it looks really good. You get the digital speedometer on there. The steering wheel is a new material for 2024. It's a different leather than what they had previously. It's kind of a soft touch leather, but yet it's firmer. When you get the leather seats in the Rubicon, 
um, it's the same material. So the seats come just like the steering wheel does. And when you get the leather seats, you'll get also get power seats, which is the other big thing for 2024. Cruise controls, adaptive cruise controls, Bluetooth and information center controls, and audio controls in the back of the steering wheel. Here's that 12.3. Uh, you connect five radio. It does have the factory navigation system, which is pretty sweet. You also have your climate controls here, including your dual climate controls, your heated seats, heated steering wheel buttons, and your media. You get AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities, Bluetooth, USBs, and AUX jacks. So you can hook up to pretty much anything. You have your off-road pages here, pitch and roll, accessory gauges, vehicle dynamics, latitude, longitude, altitude, all that good stuff. And you can check out your front camera with those dynamic grid lines, which are pretty sweet. You can see where you're going, especially if you're off-roading or on a trail. You don't want to hit rocks and wreck your wheels or go off the cliff. A uh, pretty nice thing to have. And you can clean that camera lens right there. So that's pretty sweet. You can also check out your back cam right there, which is HD. And that's pretty much it for the radio. Got all these different apps on here. Still has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Um... I'm not going to go through everything. I'm not going to go specifically into one thing, um, but you can see them all. If you want me to do that ever, just let me know. I can do a really in-depth dive on whatever you want on this radio. I always want to make my videos better and help my viewers out. Also new for 2024 is this vent down here. They used to be on the sides of the radio. They are now below because of the length of the radio up here has changed as well. It used to be just one big kind of coin holder area. Now there's two and there's this centerpiece that's nothing. I thought maybe it was a speaker, it's nothing. And then you get this black kind of clip there. That's pretty cool. Everything below that though is the same as a 2023 um, JL. Push button start, climate controls, volume tune, and heated seats and steering wheel, start stop, stability control, speed select crawl, you can turn the screen off, USB, USB-C, AUX jack, you get your front and rear and rear only axle locks right there, sway bar disconnect and off-road plus mode. And uh, this is what really makes a Rubicon a Rubicon. If it didn't have this stuff, um, it wouldn't have quite the off-road capability that this one does. And thus why a Rubicon is more expensive for that off-road capability. More parts, more technology, um, and just more capability. Four auxiliary upfit switches, 4x4 shifter, 8-speed automatic transmission. You get your Kilo Sentry with the remote start and the flipper key on there. Nice, chunky key fob. Really like those key fobs. Have since the JL came out. Here's another good look at that Gore-Tex material. The uh, map lights are different in the center here. And I think that's because of the side curtain airbags. They had to redesign everything there. Front hard top pieces come off just like they always have. You get assist and SOS buttons, auto dimming mirror, and home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. One little Easter egg to note is if you look up here, seven slots up there as well, just like the grill and rear tailgate cover. So what I'm going to do is turn on all the uh, lights in front. And I'm going to turn off the lights in the picture studio so you can see just how bright they are. Also want to go under the hood real quick, just show you the emissions sticker and everything. Nothing super exciting under here. Your emissions sticker is right there. Everything that you need to do maintenance wise is in yellow. So washer fluid, um, power steering fluid, check engine oil, uh, that is your coolant fill, and then uh, your brake fluid, all in yellow. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna turn off all the lights in the picture studio. So I've got, I think six light switches. There's one there, there's one there, uh, then there's three over there that I got all turn off, but I'm gonna turn all those off and then you can see just how bright these lights are. So give me one second. All right, so you can see just how bright those lights are and standard on the Rubicon, once again, the LED headlamps, running lights, running lights, and fog lights, all extremely bright. Really an upgrade over the halogen lights. 
And remember, in 2023, you could get a Rubicon with the halogen lights. So if you're looking at one that does have the halogen lights over a 2024, you get the halogen, the LED light standard on the 2024, and you can see just how bright they are. And you combine that with the um, side curtain airbags on the Rubicon standard in 2024. I think the smart safety pick is the 2024 LED tail lamps as well. Very distinctive uh, shape to those tail lamps. LED license plate lights. And uh, that's the whole video. I hope you really enjoyed the video. And uh, like I said before, if you have any suggestions, things that you want me to do, things that you want me to uh, go over in the future on these videos, I'm always up for criticism, critiques, um, what you like, what you don't like, to make my videos better, I wanna make them as good as I can for the people watching out there, because that's what YouTube is all about. And I really appreciate you watching the video. Thanks for checking it out. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. And if you like this video, and, or want, like this vehicle, wanna check out more photos of it, go to that website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. If you'd like to check out more HD videos, go to the YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications, You'll get updates every time I do videos of our new and used inventory each and every day. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Wrangler videos I've ever done, almost 500 videos in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to how to take your hard top off, your two-door JL in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and uh, we're really excited to offer the 2024 Jeep Wrangler. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Thanks again.